Good day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Grace, peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Today as we look at Psalm 119 verse 25 through verse 32, we will see that there is deliverance in his uh, decrees. Uh, stanza number four is Dalith. And we find sustaining power in the word of God. We will see from today's lesson that lying in the dust, completely discouraged, the psalmist knew that deliverance from his sinful nature would come as the Lord would help him to understand his laws. We know that life has its mountaintop experiences as well as its valleys. Even when we are cast down in sorrows, we can call upon the Lord. We can depend upon his word to bring restoration, to bring healing we often sing yes it is in the valley that he restores our soul when we are on the mountain top all is well but we also know that we do not live on the mountain top at all times sometimes we are in the valley low but that's when, as we say, he restored our soul. We talk about him being the lily in the valley. Yes, when we are there, we can smell the sweet fragrance of his presence. And we can depend upon the word of God to take us out of whatsoever situation we are in psalm 119 verse 25 through verse 32 it says my soul cleaveth unto the dust quicken thou me according to thy word i have declared my ways and thou hearest me teach me thy statutes Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so I shall talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melted for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. I have struck unto thy testimonies. O Lord, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. So when we make, as the psalmist do, open confession of our sins the Lord answers us and what he does he forgives us and when he does this leads us to the renewed desire to be holy as he says be he holy for I am holy as we are taught his statutes as we understand God's precepts and how to apply them practically in our lives, God does a wonderful work in us. And when he does, this leads us to meditate upon him as the Bible says, day and night. Therefore, this meditation would be in good times. This meditation would be in deep dark times there are 
spots sometimes in our life when guess what our soul melt with tears when we feel as if we are in the dust but the God of all comfort will bend low according to his word and often with a simple verse of scripture lifts us up and strengthen us and encourages us to go on it is by the spirit of god and through the word of god that this will happen to us it's by the word of god and through the spirit of god that we are able to distinguish truth from error and we know that the word of God is truth we know that we can depend upon the word of God we know who tell lies it is the devil the Bible says he is the father of it and especially when we are in our low times the enemy will want us to believe lies rather than the truth of the word of God but the Bible in inculcates a holy hatred for every form of lying it teaches us that we shouldn't lie and it teaches us that we shouldn't believe lies so truth is what God says about a thing or about a person in St. John 17, 17, Jesus himself prays. He says, sanctify, set the believers apart to the truth of thy word because your word is truth. So truth of the word of God sets apart the believers unto God. If the believer will only believe the truth of the word of God, obey, practically do what the word says, then certainly enough it will set us apart as unto him. You see, no one just really drifts into holiness. It requires a deliberate choice as the scripture tells us of the way of truth so when we choose truth the word of God the way of God as verse 30 of Psalm 119 tells us I have chosen the way of truth when we choose the way of truth the way God says in his word that we ought to go as the psalmist says thy judgment have I laid before me constantly in his eyes view or in his mind's view he is meditating upon the word of God as the truth is being revealed in the sacred scriptures to him he understands that the commands of God must be set before him as it is set before us as the mark that we must aim at the model to work by and the road to walk in it is the word of God. So the psalmist had adhered to the testimonies of God as if he has been glued to them. But he still realized, I am prone to sin. I am prone to wonder. Therefore, he cries to the Lord in conscious dependence upon him saying I can do nothing at all without him 
but I must depend upon his grace. I must depend upon his spirit to help us or to help him. Then God gives him now a big heart. He enlarges his heart so as to receive more and more of the word. Notice what God enlarges, not his head, but his heart. And then he says, he sent me to keep your commandments. So with this big heart, I want it to be filled more and more and more with your words. Then now it becomes a matter of love for the word of God. The psalmist is saying, I just don't want it to fill my intellect, but I want to have a love for it. And when I have a love for the word of God, I will obediently do what it says. And so when he finds himself lying in the dust, when he finds himself discouraged, he knew he could turn to the word of God for his deliverance. The same is it with us as believers today. When we feel as if we are discouraged, when we feel as if we can't go on, let us remember where we can find sustaining power. Let us remember that deliverance is in his decree, the word of God. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And also visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with